Mark, first home game of the season, first game for you in front of the new crowd. How are you feeling ahead of the game? Yeah, obviously one of excitement at the moment. Uh, very much looking forward to to getting to the ground, obviously seeing the atmosphere. Um, like I said, it'll be a proud, a proud moment, but one that I can't uh, dwell on or think about too much. Um, like I said, it's full, full focus on, on the task at hand. Um, yeah, it's a great feeling to be back, but um, there's no greater feeling than winning, and we've got to make sure we're fully focused on, on trying to deliver that. Of course, your first full week in training with the boys. How has that been for you in the build-up for the game? Yeah, great. I was, uh, you know, really excited to take the job, and uh, I was excited by the group of players we're taking on. And I certainly haven't been dampened by what I've seen so far. I think the attitude and the mentality of the group in which is, you know, probably a, a, a time of transition can be sometimes a bit unsettling for players. But I think the way they've handled it has been um, fantastic. Of course, in your first introductory interview, you spoke about you know making older shot feared, making it somewhere you know places people don't want to go to. And that mentality and that message obviously still stands ahead of this Saturday's game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got to be respectful to the teams we're playing, but we've also got to focus on ourselves. And you know, we need to really create an atmosphere at home, uh, one which teams don't enjoy. Um, and like I said, I, I said to the lads, I said I'm sure the fans will be out in numbers this Saturday support you and it's up to us to, to keep them supporting, keep them cheering for us and keep them coming back and we can only do that through our hard work, uh, it won't be through lack of that, that that's, our, that's I can guarantee um, but we are at the uh, very early stages of our tenure and um, like I said some, some real positive signs but the proof is always going to be uh, come, the, come the big on, on the Saturdays and the, and the Tuesday night games so like I said we're um, still in assessment mode um, you know, like the the excitement of being here now is now the realization that we've got a, a big challenge ahead of us. But said so us, my staff, and the group, we uh, we enjoy challenges. Because of course, as you mentioned as well, the message would be to fans. You know, there is a product in place. You've got plans in place. So just stick with you, and everything will hopefully sort itself out. Yeah, definitely. Look, this it's football. There's going to be ups, downs, trials, and tribulations. It's a roller coaster of football, but. You know, we've got a clear way of working. We've got, um, you know, a clear idea of where we want to take this club. Um, you know, Rome isn't built in a day, but one thing we've got to see right from the word go, and what I've seen so far is that that hard work, you know, that endeavour and that, that that mentality from the players. Um, and if we show that, I know the crowd will match us as well. Obviously, this week as well is giving you the first chance to look at the players injury-wise. There was a few players coming back from injury. How are they all doing? Yeah, we've obviously uh, we have. One injury of note, obviously Kevin Locko, uh, he's made some good progress this week, so um, we'll have to see how he responds next week as well, so I wouldn't want to be pushing anyone too early, too soon, you've just got to get that balancing act of, uh, yep, we want him back, without a doubt, but you know we don't want to go a day or two too early and then risk losing the work that we've done already, so that's an ongoing, you know, we'll continually assess that um, day by day. Um, but the full focus has been on the ones which are available for this Saturday in such a short space of time. So, uh, yeah, I think um, the attitude of the boys, like I said, has been has been fantastic so far. Of course, a word on Wilson, uh, Wilson rather Halifax as well. Obviously, they come into the game with a three 0 win against Stockport. You know, one of the title favourites this, this season. So, a big test for us at home to start your tenure off. Yeah, there's no easy game in this league. In this league, it's obviously the old cliche, but um, no, I'm really impressed by Halifax. I've got the utmost respect for their manager. He always takes them to the highest reach, reaches of this league. He knows it well. They play a good brand of football. They've got some dangerous players. So, like I said, we, we need to be respectful, but we are respectful in how we work and how we prepare. When it comes to the Saturday, we've got to remember that we're all the shot and, and we're a good team as well. Because of course we come off the back of a two-all draw against Wildstone. You know, I'm bound. I'm sure you'll have watched the footage from that game. You're going to take the positive from that game into this game and hopefully get a result that you're after on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. The boys have got to take a lot of confidence, hopefully from their last two performances. But um, they've got to take that on again, and that's certainly our mantra. As we constantly want to keep moving forward, we want to constantly keep improving, and um, that's the way we've got to be. We've got to be brutal with ourselves. The way we assess ourselves and the way we move on, but we've, um, you know, every day we've got to look at whether it's small marginal gains, but every day we've got to be looking to try and get better. Sometimes getting better, you know, you have to learn through your hardships, but at the moment we're uh, certainly looking to, you know, make some strides forward. Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.